Hi everyone, Quinn with Learn From Cisco here, and I was recently asked to provide a little bit more context around a blog that I had written around uh, our transition from our DevNet certifications to the CCNA, CCNP, and CCIE automation. And this is really focused around more of the professional level certifications, especially in the transition from DevCore to AutoCore. You can read the blog, uh, and I talk a little bit more about some of the, the major transitions that we've made, uh, including making a heavier emphasis on things like infrastructure as code and uh, network automation, including things like operations and then everyone's favorite AI. But I really wanted to get into more of the the, the reasoning behind it. The, the change is not just for change's sake, more of there was a, a, a principled purpose behind this. And if you remember back when the DevNet certs were, were introduced in 2020, uh, the the market was still evolving and there was a lot of people who were in the automation space that were application developers or they needed their the networking engineers to become application developers. So we we treated the entire portfolio around how can we upskill those de those engineers to become application developers. So focusing on the software development lifecycle, secure coding practices, shift left, and the variety of things that were incorporated with proper uh, coding hygiene and development uh, methodologies. Uh, the market has since shifted, and we don't take any of these changes lightly. We've done exhaustive uh, job task analysis and job um, role analyses to make sure uh, that what we produce from a certification standpoint aligns to uh, really the, the, the needs that are in the market. And what we've seen is that our, the network engineers do not have to become application developers. Uh, the network engineers are supposed to be people who can understand the business requirements around network automation, to proper tool selection, and being able to implement broader practitioner level uh, solutions more than just point products or do point API calls and focus on the, the application development itself. This is more along a solution development around network automation. And so the auto core specifically uh, hones in on this. You look at the individual components. We talk about solutions and integrations with things like sources of truth or digital twins, like with Cisco modeling labs and things of that nature. So the focus is meant to cl more closely align to exactly what we see in the marketplace from our network automation engineers and our network automation developers. We're removing a lot of that software development piece and really focusing on what you, the engineer, have been asked to do in your daily uh, roles, and that's to create scalable, flexible and robust network automation solutions. And so if you compare the exam topics uh, between the dev core and the auto core, you'll see that a chunk of the dev core is no longer applicable. And I do touch on this in the blog. But again, that is all that software development uh, pieces like the 12 factor app, secure coding practices, uh, platform and application deployments and development, uh, things that were very difficult for those network engineers to focus on uh, because they weren't directly applicable when they were chasing network fires. And so we uh, feel that the, the test is more uh, complete and really focused on what you as the network engineer are going to be doing in your day-to-day -day, uh, task. And that makes studying for that a little bit more easy because you're actually being able to apply those concepts and principles more so than having to study them outside of your of your normal 9 to 5 or your 40-hour work week. Uh, so again, we don't undertake these changes lightly, but we do feel that this is going to be a more complete uh, and well-rounded exam that focuses on you, the network automation engineer, uh, and your abilities to actually perform and build those scalable and robust uh, network automation solutions. So it's a call to action. Please uh, examine the auto core uh, technology exam topics. Uh, examine the, the technologies and platforms that are being uh, discussed at the very top. We have made a shift uh, such that we, instead of calling out the specific uh, platforms to be used in each of the tasks, we have a boilerplate uh, piece that says, here's the platforms that are in scope for the entire exam. So review the technologies, review the domain, the specific exam items and sub items. Uh, and if you have any questions, always please feel free to reach out to myself, uh, leverage the Cisco Learning Network, uh, leverage the events if you're able to come in person. Uh, we're here to help you. These tests are not meant to frustrate you or to trip you up. We really want them to be applicable so that you feel comfortable uh, attempting them and showing your how proud you are that you're certified, but also that they're very reflective of what you're seeing in your job today. So as always, happy studying.